UNITIA is a game by DMM Games, a Japan-based company. The game was first revealed back in 2017's Tokyo Game Show announced by Techcross. With the game just released for both iOS and Android, the game is also playable on the web browser via DMM Games site. Like any other mobile RPGs, players will start off with the story and a character that has been part of an attack from a mysterious being, a cliché story. As players progress through the story, players will encounter many heroes and uncover the mysterious enemy that has caused their worlds to collie. Duh. There are plenty of heroes in the game and players can collect them through gacha. There are multiple game modes like the campaign story mode and PvP mode. Players will battle through enemies in a strategic turn-based battle system. There are turns in the game which are based off the speed of the characters. And since all characters are able to achieve the maximum 7 stars, the game will be based on entirely on player's team composition and play style, which is good for a free-to-play game. Because the game is available for both mobile and the web browser, players can share the same account between the browser and mobile. The character arts are some of the best I've seen. Obviously this is subjective, and I'm no art expert, but the hand-drawn quality the art has makes character art from other games look cheap by comparison. Another point on character art, the consistency, both in terms of style and quality, across the board is very high, and three star are rarity, characters don't get discounted treatments, they look just as good. One major focus of the game is on the semi-automatic PvP, you can choose your skills, but not your target. The pro here is that, unless you're aiming for plat ranking, there are plenty of viable 3 and 4 star characters to carry you all the way up to gold right below plat. The stat difference across rarities are barely noticeable, so it mainly comes down to each character's skill sets as well as the team's synergy. Each character is equipped with two active skills, one passive skill, and a ubiquitous auto-attack. Everything runs on a cooldown, so there is no secondary resource bar to manage, and no ultimate skill to unleash for that satisfying death blow to the final boss, although there is a party-based ultimate skill called Oracle Assist, it doesn't pack quite the punch. On the flip side, it's true that shallower gameplay makes the game easier to auto, and once you've reached a certain power level, you'll be able to sweep through most stages rather quickly. There is guild content in place and guilds compete with each other for weekly ranking rewards. The pro here is that participation in this content is strictly limited to once per day, for a total of 7 times per week. You cannot, as you can in some other games, cash in to buy additional entries to arbitrarily inflate your guild's ranking. Consequently, there's no pressure for guild members to buy a spot for the guild on the leaderboard, which is another F2P friendly implementation. Free players can easily keep up, as previously mentioned, even free star characters can be raised to be competitive, as the character's skill kit rear. TLY outweighs what stat difference there is at the highest level. Additionally, 5-star equipment, which is considerably better than a 4-star counterpart, do drop from dungeons, neglecting the need to pull for them from gachas, if you're willing to farm diligently. Lastly, although duplicate characters can be used to limit break existing characters up to 5 times, the stat growth is progressively diminishing. <laughs>
ルからのお届け物ですあなたにハートをずっとプレゼントしちゃいます明日も忘れずに来てくださいねあなたのことこんなものが手に入るのあもあなたと会えますかもうご飯食べたあと準備することはと寝て起きたらまた来てね主観学校は全寮制だったからハロウィンパーティーはいつも大騒ぎだったわちょうど私も依頼を確認してたところよダンのために役立てて主観学校は<音声>ここは星がきれいね。もう嫌いじゃない生まれた町からも連邦からも離れてここにさあ行くわよ私、頑張るからみんなの行く先は私が照らすからねいらっしゃいませお客様何かお探しですかそうの飛行海賊の格好がしたいかな海を航行なかなか順調じゃないうん上出来よ仮装の飛行海賊の格好がしたいかな海を旅立ちの時は手伝ってもらったけど今度は私が手伝う番だね団長さんのために女王様になってあげるね失敗は許さないわ
てワクワクするよねトラッカーに生まれかけて私の炎の勢いを誰にも止めない知らない場所ってワクワクするよねもうあの頃に私、その場所に。こんなものねさてガンガン進みましょう。私の命令は絶対よ。そこ力です。あなたが繊細孤児と聞きました。The game mercifully splits characters and equipment into two different gacha pools. For character gachas, a tent pool costs around $30, and the 5 star rate is 2.5%. Equipment gachas cost two thirds as much and has a 3% chance of netting a 5 star, but IMO is still pretty much a waste of money because 5 star equipment can be farmed, if you're very diligent. For both types of gachas, 10 pools guarantee at least one 4 star. Additionally for character gachas, once a day you can use paid gems to do a 1 pull for 60% off. There is no dedicated pity, mileage system in place, although you can sell extra characters off to get a red stone currency that can e eventually buy you a 5 star character ticket. 
トリッコワットリート今日の私は失敗は許さないわ Yeah. <laughs> 